Quick rundown on the engine. It is a Chevy 350. It's 30 over, 4 bolt main. Has 4 valve relief flat top pistons. It's 9.7 to 1 compression. It runs a stock X rod with ARP rod bolts. A cast 2442 stock crankshaft. Has 60 thousandths piston head clearance. It runs a 564 ring package. It has the Summit self aligning rockers 1.5 ratio. I'm running a JEGS LS6 valve spring. Installed height is a 1.75. Has 115 seat pressure and 295 open pressure. I'm running a GM single plane intake 1248675 Topped off with a Holly 750 double pumper. HP. All right, I'm running a Howard solid flat tap of camshaft in this motor. It's got 254 degrees of intake duration of 50 thousandths left and 260 degrees of exhaust duration of 50 thousandths left. On a 106 lobe separation, 515 left both sides. I'm running a Howard's 91118 lifter. It's got a 21 thousandths hole in the middle of the lifter to oil the camshaft. I did this because I planned on dri uh, street driving the car. All right, the heads are 906 casting vortex. I have lapped the stock valves in. The heads came off a heavy duty truck. They have a large exhaust seat insert and a one angle valve job on the exhaust side. It came like that from the factory. What I did to the heads is I smoothed out the valve seat transitions, taking out the sharp, uh, sharp edges right, right around here and right in here. I did open up the exhaust seat insert a little bit to try to get more flow out of it. But other than that, the heads are stock. All right, my expectations. When I first put this combination together, I thought it was going to be the quickest out of my 9 to 1 Vortec headed 350s and my Nova. Since then, the 906 Vortec heads like these with the exhaust seat insert have underperformed. I also started to question my cam staff choice, having a large cam with low compression and a low stall converter for the camshaft. If this combination runs 1170s, I'll be happy and it'll be the quickest of my 350 headed Vortec engines. If not, it's back to the drawing board. Let's see how this does at the track.
All right, this motor ran well with the best of 1159 at 117. I ended up at 82 square jetting, no power valves in the carburetor, 34 degrees of total timing, shifting at 7,000 RPMs and crossing at 6,700 RPMs. I would like to try out a different transmission to see if it'll pick up some ET. This is the transmission I'm talking about here. Power Glide. It's got an A1 stall converter in it, 8 inch. Uh, the gear ratio is a 182, 1 to 1 final drive. I've got a trans brake in it. And uh, it's not, this converter is not designed for this engine. Um, I'm hoping it'll stall at around 5,500 RPMs and I could get some more 60 foot out of it, out of this car. And hoping it picks up some ET. Let's throw it in and let's see how, see how it goes.